Hi friends, my name is Vivek and today I am going to inform you about Patent Portfolio Audit. So let us talk about what are the key steps to follow during Patent Portfolio Audit. Friends, it's a well known fact that patents are valuable intangible assets for every small or big entity. A company or firm owing single or multiple patent can utilize them as per its free will. It can license them out for financial winnings or commercialize the underlying intellectual property. Hence, it's important to make proper strategies concerning patent portfolios that may lead to the swift expansion of portfolio margins and shareholders. Furthermore, it increases the overall worth of intellectual property. I am going to tell you about the steps to follow during a patent portfolio audit. But before that, it is important for you to know what a patent audit is. So, let us talk about what is a patent audit. A patent audit is necessary to monitor the internal concepts as well as redevelop the concepts for patenting to create a sound patent portfolio. The regular interval investigation or examination of the patentable abstraction to obtain a comprehensive insight of all the patents in a file or a portfolio is called invention audit or patent audit. The procedure cover all factors such as the granted validity and license patents, patents application status and potentially patentable discoveries. So the next is what are the objectives of patent portfolio? The first is to keep the inventory of patent granted, acquired, pending or licensed. The second is to learn in detail the generation of revenue from the patents the patents portfolio is the significant source of evaluating the revenue sharing of the company from the intellectual property assets. Number third, ascertaining how well the patents plan aids to corporate strategy. Number fourth, strategy current and future products as well as services that are patent protected and what details features of those products along with services are to be safeguarded by specific patents. Number fifth, Evaluate the strategy linked with the IP rights, expiration and the impacts on goods and services. Number six, conduct market and technology research in order to access respective information associated with current industry standards. Number seven, estimate merger acquisition or joint ventures, possibilities and the compatibilities, leverage its patent portfolio. Further research may involve competitor oriented patents landscape studios number eight evaluate the usage of open source software or hardware that can impact the ability to implement patent rights so let us talk about the steps to follow during patent portfolio audit the first step is to know the crucial requirement for an intellectual property audit in an organization or a company and have such an activity sanctioned by the vital stakeholders both external and internal. All the records of patent of an organization or a company must be dated as well as arranged properly to make sure the achievement of the end objective of the intellectual property audit. In case where details related to the patent are not dated precisely, it may result in mistaken outcomes in an intellectual property audit, which can eventually lead to severe losses for the organization or the company. In addition to this, the constant intellectual property audits, a well-drafted schedule as well as the timeline should be developed so that the intellectual property portfolio of the organization or companies are examined or audited on a frequent basis based on such a schedule. This important step can be done or finished either before or after a patent portfolio audit. The next step would be documenting the incompatible requirements of the stakeholders as well as find means of expressing them within the audit. Thereafter, using the given objectives of such an intellectual property audit, an execution plan must be developed. After that, in the next step, you need to estimate the present market values along with projected profitability of the current patents, then weigh them against the maintaining cost such as intellectual property and renewing them as well. The last step of an intellectual property audit is evaluating the audit to learn to what extent the patent portfolio 
is lined up with the business goal. Now, friends, we can talk about the benefits of patent portfolio audit, improving business decisions. Intellectual property audits gives organization or companies a right viewpoint of their present IP assets, the value formulated by them, the profits created by them, etc. It enables the owners of the business to go ahead and make vital decisions at the time of dealing with opportunities such as acquisition as well as licensing offers. Recognition of IP portfolio, it accurately recognizes all the intellectual property under the roof of the organization. Also, it will permit the organization or company to acknowledge better with intellectual property should be safeguarded and which can offer vital turnover. Increase the value of present IP. In order to safeguard intellectual property entities, go for filing patent application with patenting bodies which can be a tedious process at times. So friends, this is all about the patenting process. A company or an organization owing an enormous number of patents which it fails to manage in an efficient way in similar to the wealthy persons who can't invest smartly. A well implemented audit spur revenues generated and addresses cost by assisting define a focused IP strategy as well as a work plan to gather maximum rewards from the audit. It must be designed to lend insight into the root of the business as well as its growth mechanism. I hope you liked the video. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel and must visit the Swaraj channel also. Thank you.